and truly the king of chess for the fifth time for the fifth world championship. Vishwanathan Anand has become world champion for the fifth time. Anand retained his title with a 2.5 to 1.5 scoreline against uh, Israel's Boris Gelfand in the tiebreaker at Moscow. The players uh, were locked at six points apiece after the 12th game final and the match went into a four game rapid chess tiebreaker which is acknowledged to be Anand's biggest strength. The first game of this tiebreaker was drawn while Anand won the second to take the lead. The third and the fourth ended in draws as well, ensuring that Anand had the title in his bag for the third time in succession. This one perhaps, he says, is his hardest win. Well, he was the world chess champion in 2000 and since 2007 well, he was a rapid chess champion in 2003 and since 2007, Vishwanathan Anand has been the undisputed world chess champion. Consecutive five times in Moscow for the fifth time, for the fifth title of world chess champion. He was the defender, remember, he was the standing champion, the holding champion and he's been able to fend off very, very difficult challenger Boris Gelfand in this particular game, the last tie break. He was supposed to have only made a draw to win, but he went ahead and beat Boris Gelfand of Israel. Vishwanathan Anand does the country proud once again, fifth time in a row since 2007 that he's been the undisputed chess champion. It was uh, incredibly tense and um, well, when I woke up this morning, you had this feeling that one way or the other, uh, we were, I mean, this was really coming to an end today. Um, and but okay, you simply don't know how it's going to go. I mean, the match was so even that I had uh, no sense of um, uh, what shape the tiebreak would take. And um, I think right now, probably the only feeling you have is relief. Uh, I think I'm even too tense to be happy, but I'm really relieved. Okay, so it was a very tough match and uh, we're just happy that uh, in the end it finished well. Uh, you could see the way the games went. They were very tough games and uh, each game, I think, uh, showed preparation at, at the highest level. Right. Would you, uh, once the uh, playoffs ended in a tie and in, it went to the rapid fire today, were you uh, confident uh, that because he's so good in the rapid fire format that uh, he would Not wrap it up all. today? I, I think um, uh, you should uh, note that Bob Kelton is an excellent uh, tie break specialist. In fact, uh, he has won some very tough and critical matches in tie break. So uh, I don't think uh, we considered ourselves a favorite. We just uh, went in with an open mind and uh, just decided uh, you know, whatever happens will happen. But the fifth time is really a huge achievement. Uh, yeah. How proud are you feeling today? Oh, well, we're extra proud. Hello. See, it's a sensational uh, a person for over seven years kept the title. And uh, he has seen the best of the chess world. He's been a world champion during Casper of Cup over time, and new generation, and he established himself. It's a unique achievement. Sir, yeah, but this time around, uh, it, it did not come so easily. The league games uh, were uh, were pretty tough, and he had to come to the tie break. See, the new crop has come in. So uh, you have to. He he is in between the new generation and the old generation. And congratulations coming not just from his parents and his fans in Chennai and across India, but also from the Prime Minister. Prime Minister Manmohan Singh uh, has said, and I quote, uh, You have done our youth proud, particularly sportsmen. I wish you more similar success, unquote.